<laughs> hey, wind stepping activated. <laughs> Yeah. That's nice. So that's what Miklio got. I think this is new. I don't remember having Whirlwind Slash during that fight. Violent projection was a much better move on uh on Luger. <laughs> Crown fire? Uh I see what's new on Edna. What what was new on Miklio is blistering fangs. Did he? Oh. Are you concerned about Dezel? Well, kind of. If his aim is to kill Hellions, I want to stop him somehow. If it does come to that, the Prime Lord has the authority to restrain a Sublord if he decides to act up. You can do that? Yes, but ideally I'd rather not have to. Though there is a hierarchy between the Prime Lord and Sublord, I'd rather we be friends. Hmm. If Dezel travels along with you, Saray, I'm certain that he'll find some other reason for living besides revenge. He is a Seraph too, after all. Let me tell you something. What? That girl, Rose, she conducts way too much power. I was able to enact the Armatus and control her body even when she was completely zonked out. What do you mean? She's far too used to the power of the Seraphim. It's probably because Dezel's been secretly interfering from the sidelines for so long. He must have manipulated her on multiple occasions while she was asleep or unconscious. If that weren't the case, there'd be no real explanation for why such power flows through her. So Dezel used Rose to his own ends time and time again? Just to get his revenge? And just as he was hoping, Rose had the ability to enact the Armatus. If she loses consciousness, she can be manipulated freely. He's crafted the ideal vessel out of her. Keep that in mind. Okay. We're becoming quite the family here. Yeah, Rose and Dezel are actually pretty cool. Well, I don't know about Rose, but if Dezel heard that, I'm quite sure he would object. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Exploring these ruins like this gave me some perspective again. I'd gotten too worked up. Thank you, Miklio. You helped yourself. Don't thank me. Uh, what? No, well, I, I mean, uh, not really. Just... Just what? I, uh... I kind of like having you and Rose around. What? What the hell are you getting at? I mean, I used to think we were the only group of humans and Seraphim who traveled together. It used to be quite a common affair. Even if people couldn't see us, couldn't hear our voices, they could feel us by their side. Together we laughed. Together we cried. Weren't all of the scattered bones like that? Exactly. And so that's why... Hey. Know this. We may be working together, but if you get in the way of what I need to do, there will be problems, Shepard or no. <laughs> so you're finally awake. <laughs> Boy.
boy, howdy. You really helped me out there. My gratitude to the shepherd, and of course, my seraph brethren. I'm Saray. This is Lila, Edna, Dezel, Nicleo, and the one sleeping over there is... That dog is talking! Rose, you're awake. Yep. I am called Oish. Though I may not look it, I'm as much a seraph as any of them. I'm getting a crash course, Mystic Secrets of the Seraphim. <laughs> nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Rose. Looks like she's used to it. So, shall we return now that Rose has recovered and awakened? I don't know. She's having so much fun. No screaming and punching? Lame. <laughs> We're wasting time. Let's head back. Hmm. Hold up! We haven't found anything yet. And there's more ruin left to explore. Well, I guess there's only one thing to do. Yep! Keep, Keep going! going. <laughs> We're not done with our little expedition yet. <laughs> no vacation from this vacation. Yep. Then let us proceed further in. Saray, are you ready? Thanks, everyone. I'm excited for the next oh, town wish. because floric we'll earrings, look aren't you? The ruins a bit more. <laughs> you folks are a blast, I tell you. Be careful out there. Yep. See you later, mystical doggy. Uh, Arts on Rose. Summer dragon means sleeping dragon. He doesn't start with a lot of good stuff. Trading can be maybe. No. That's a lot of dragons. Are these statues of the eight serpents? Yep. No, it can't be. The numbers don't match. But it does look like relics of dragonism. Taking the era into account, it might be logical to assume that the dragonist religion originates from that legend. I can understand the whole deity worship thing, I guess. But why the dragons? Beings of incomprehensible power. Symbols of awe-inspiring terror. Humans probably hoped that praise to such an entity would help them somehow. Oh, shoot. I've been all over. But I've never so much as seen a dragon's footprints. Oh, though I bet that thunder we heard at Rayfalk is enough to inspire dragon legends. That's because that one was real. <laughs> sure. You can go there and verify for yourself. You would probably die, though. What? We, uh... We met a dragon at Rayfalk. It was, uh, Edna's brother. Wait, isn't Edna a seraph? Yep. A dragon is what you get when a seraph accumulates too much malevolence. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to apologize. I agree with you that praying to a dragon is a stupid idea. <laughs> I want to admit, yeah. Uh, once wind stepping runs out, we'll probably switch that over. Bunch of floric stuff though. Yeah. I'll pro probably switch. What?
wonder how the war turned out. Who knows? I remember the Roland's army falling apart. Immediately afterwards, Highland also lost their general and retreated. I'd say it was a draw. You were there too? I like to watch. I see. So my actions directly affected the course of battle. It's like what Lila said before. Would Alicia and Lucas be all right? Lucas would probably be okay. But as for Alicia, we'll just have to trust Highland. I guess so. In any case, we did what we needed to do. That's right. Come to think of it, you guys split up with Princess Alicia, right? Yeah, in Marland. Alicia has her own dreams to pursue, too. So what? Does that make me a replacement? What? N no! No! <laughs> Sorry to ask that way. Don't worry about it. I decided to join you guys of my own volition. But don't expect me to fit into that princess role. We know that. <laughs> Glad you understand and all. But that's a little rude of you, don't you think? Here. It's fresh from the oven. Hey, Madeline's! Thanks, Dezel! No need to thank me. Eat up. Okay! Mmm! Mmm! -hmm. Hey, Dezel, these taste really similar to the ones I make. Why is that? Who knows? It's a coincidence. Do coincidences like that even exist? Hmm. You seem to be bothered about something. What's wrong, Rose? It's not a big deal, but how Dezel makes Madeline's is really similar to how I make Madeline's. I wonder why. Mm. It must be a coincidence. <laughs> is it really? Isn't it strange how even our secret ingredient, orange juice, matches? It's common knowledge among skilled Madeline makers to use orange juice as the secret ingredient. What? It's not only limited to Madeline's. Each kind of sweets has its own ideal ratio of secret ingredients to put in. If you want to master the art of cooking, it's very important to assess the ideal secret ingredient. Uh, okay. Never thought Dezel would have been so knowledgeable about sweets. I just heard some kind of loud bang. What the heck is Rose doing? She's baking. Uh, In the middle of a ruin. What happened? It's okay, I'm fine. It's just that I messed up a bit on making these butter cookies. Looks to me like something was probably wrong with this picture from the get-go. There are some things you're not really supposed to use in cooking. Like, oh, I don't know, an abacus or a dagger. But I mean, you can use them to mix things together, roll out and cut the dough, all sorts of stuff. How do you even come up with ways to use those things? What do you mean? They're super useful. It's what I've always used to make stuff. I just messed up a little bit this time, that's all. So, I hear she just kind of messed up this time? Don't ask me. All right, let me put it this way. What are you going to do about it? Don't. Ask. Okay. So... Yeah. And wind stepping just ran out, so be efficient about this. Yeah. Sure can. I do feel like there's a bit of a learning curve there though. I've been jumping around between a lot of different Tales games this week and I know like the first fight against the general I was a little sloppy but then after fighting with the armatus for a little bit I felt like I was getting the ha the hang of the the sink back for keeping long combos going with the armatus once we finally got it We can't afford to hold, hold back let's do this a werewolf probably some guild member turned hell it specializes in assassin techniques watch out let's get out of what? here Good point. Oh, we can't sorry. Yeah. Honestly, the way that those abilities work, the they will—they're more likely to survive if we do this. If that huge snake bites you, it'll suck you dry. Suck? Wait, what? Let's get out of here. 
And honestly, let's just leave them like that for exploration. Here, do you a favor. Oh, these things. Aren't they a lovely enemy type? You just tell- Oh, lord. Looking for a fight? I mean, we did just save, so if unfortunate things happen during exploration. Hey! Yeah. Yeah, now we can switch them back. It just, yeah. well, we have those auto abilities turned on, which is basically, it, they're more likely to survive just sitting there using the auto ability, auto dodge abilities on manual. Yeah, that too. Yep. Monster. It's the Earth in Historia. It records events from the past. Is this a record of wars throughout the world? So that guy, Heldolf, he's using those wars as crucibles to breed more malevolence. He pits Hellions against each other in order to increase their strength and ferocity. Disgusting. His heart is surely sunk in the depths of darkness. That's the truth of the Lord of Calamity. Oh, dangerous encounter. Finished. Would you like some? Dangerous encounter. That's super. Uh. Yeah. We can't afford to hold back. Let's do this. Yeah. The bigger the herd, the stronger. Leave them alone, and they'll just call for more. Okay. <laughs> yeah.
And there is a switch over here I didn't hit. But we did run into that dangerous encounter here, which helped clear out some of the enemies around here. Oh! Oof. Oh, shut up, Dazzle. Okay, there should be a switch in here. This place is really obnoxious to explore. How fast they made the enemies. Like, for people that just want to avoid find fighting randoms, this game can be incredibly obnoxious. The merry-go-round continues. Don't underestimate. A bodyless hellion again? Its physical attacks are weak. Let's finish him off. Too close. Let's take our leave. prepared the bottles. Oh boy. Give it your all. Nope. Hey, switch it there. That's what it's like. Might run into this guy. I need to. We can't hold back. If we want to win, their spellcasters turned hellions who couldn't die peacefully. Don't underestimate their use of seraphic art schools. Let's just get out alive. Well, this isn't an exit, this leads to a different, uh... I think there's a silver chest up here, so we're probably... We get the silver key. I'm gonna poke my head out here, I'm pretty sure this is a silver chest out here. But we'll want to come back here real quickly after grabbing the, uh, silver key, yep, from the end of the dungeon. Yep. You are correct. Good job, Edna. You deserve a cookie. Except for we don't have any, so. What rich malevolence! This isn't my style. That's nice. So there should be a series of conveniently spaced gaps now. And we'll go forward, grab the silver key, and then go back and grab that silver chest. I don't believe so, no. so. I wonder if she'll ever really get used to this. This mural seems to depict the trial that the one who is to be the shepherd must undertake. I did not expect to find such a thing here. Whoa, the shepherd's trial, huh? Is this blotch here supposed to represent the continent of Glenwood? Then this insignia thingy marks where the shepherd is supposed to go. Is that right? Lila, is that the case? 
tonight's dinner, Mabo Curry! Don't mind her. She gets a little random sometimes when things come up that she can't talk about because of her oath. Oath? Like a diet? <laughs> so there are four places with that mark. One in the north part of Lake Haven Heights. Two in the southern end of the middle of the continent. And the last one is in the direction of Western Bolt Gorge. Well, if they call it a trial, that means something good happens if you finish it, right? Like maybe you get some awesome equipment or sweet power-ups. Yeah. Hey, maybe I'll get the strength to Rose is John or Savvy. We just might have hope against Heldolf after all. Uh, guys, English please? What's a domain? What's a Held Elf? Well, it's, uh... You know what? Forget it. We'll talk about it over a meal. We got what we came for, right? Yeah. Looks like our expedition has come to an end. Cool, let's go! I just got bored all the way back into my gourd. Didn't know you could do that. For real? Looks like it. No comment. <laughs> yeah. Not the greatest. Well, we wouldn't have been so scared of Seraphim or Hellions if you could see them from the beginning. That's probably true. If you can see them in the first place, at least you know they're there with you. If you can't see people, and then suddenly you can, it means that there were people there the whole time when you thought there wasn't anyone at all. Doesn't that give you the creeps? I sort of get it, but not really. I think Mikleo and the others have their work cut out for them. Find what you were looking for? Yeah, but... Earth in Historia this, Shepherd Trial that... It's turning into one big mess. Hmm... I'm not sure where to start. Well, think about it. The locations are all over the world. Plan it so we don't waste travel time. All right. Then how's Pendrago sound? I'm sure you've grabbed the attention of the bigwigs in the Roland's Empire by now. You might want to go explain that Highland only got you to fight for them by force. Oh, good idea. That would likely make our operations inside the Roland's Empire much easier. An approach only the humans could take. <laughs> Looks like you're all on the same page. That's right. Are you going to stay back here, Oish? I'd sure like to. I'm still kind of attached to the place, but I probably don't dare stay here by myself. Is something wrong? There needs to be someone to worship the Seraph. Like at a shrine or a church. Or else he could be tainted by malevolence and become a Hellion again. Then we'll find someone and bring them here to cover it. Sound good? You sure? I thought this was your hideout. Huh, <laughs> whatever. Just leave it to me, okay? You're the best. I should be sitting pretty for the time being, thanks to all you folks. Just bring someone here whenever you can. I'll give you blessings out the wazoo. <laughs> well, I'll see you around, Oish. <laughs> Come back soon. <laughs> And let's go back and get that silver chest, shall we? There's always time. I think so. There was also a conveniently spaced gap. Yeah. 
It's really hard to avoid one when moving through that hallway. Oh boy. I'm tempted to put them on someone just so, just... I mean... We can't hold back. You might want to armatize. If we want to win! Ready? <laughs> Our meter situation is not bad, though. And we're going to be resting when we get back in here. thinking of heading out now with just the clothes on my back oh please I am a girl you know oh and huh you have been battling those hellions is that right those monsters most people can't see yeah all the time yeah that man we were talking about held off he's the Lord of Calamity so Hold your horses. Save the long stories for mealtime, okay? Let's go! And a nerve. Certainly. I'm more of laughing at the uh, thousand year old donuts. I mean, that's a, uh, those are potent preservatives. They just filled them with whatever Twinkies are filled with. That was their secret. And the game's making a big deal out of the fact that we have the real party now. Hey, Rose. Huh? What is it? You're sounding all serious on me. It's about my duty as a shepherd. <laughs> You're supposed to defeat the Lord of Calamity written about in the Earth and Historia, right? What about it? I met the Lord of Calamity on the battlefield. You did, huh? But I was no match for him. Even your resonance was cut off. Oh, so that's when I came to the rescue. And? What do you mean, and? This journey is going to be dangerous. Honestly, I don't even know if we have a chance to win. I'll help you find a way to win. And if we can't, we can always run away. We'll be all right. You know the reality of the situation and what your capabilities are, and that's fine by me. Thanks. For what? For everything. I'm not sure I get what you mean, but... You're welcome. There isn't a problem. If there is, we'll just run away. 
flower from the Pearl Oats region is second to none. For strawberries, though, you can't beat ones from Marland. What should we do for milk? What are you talking about? We're brainstorming local regions where we can get our key ingredients to make a delicious shortcake. Picking the right ingredients will determine the quality of the food. Remember that. Gotcha. So how's that going? We were going to get flour from the Pearl Oats region and the strawberries from Marland. But we haven't decided on where to get milk yet. The region we should get it from will depend on the kind of milk we want. Hey, Saray, do you prefer light, smooth milk or rich, creamy milk? Huh. I like the rich, creamy kind. Then we should get it from Lake Haven. Sounds like the ideal plan. Thanks for telling us, Dezel. I just felt like it is all. Don't read into it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm on a journey with real-life Seraphim. We're gonna be counting on you. Gah! Pleasantries are fine and all, but disembodied voices give me the total willies! I can't believe I'm on a journey with a real-life scaredy cat. <laughs> no. Miglio, look! A giant tree stump. Hmm. There's treasure. Judging from the growth rings, it looks like this one's at least a thousand years old. You counted them? What are we boring you? You can eyeball this kind of thing, you know. Look, see? This width accounts for about 20 years. If the trunk is at least 50 of these wide, that's a thousand years right there. Hey, look! There's a part where the growth rings are super concentrated. You're right. I wonder why. There was probably an era with a chilly enough climate that the sun barely ever broke through the clouds. Oh, I see. So that's why these growth rings are so close together. And that's approximately a thousand years ago. Amazing. Trees are history books growing right in front of us. Impressive that you even noticed that, though. You just need to think more, is all. <laughs> it has become one. <laughs> he was bored. That treasure chest was boring. It bored a hole inside of him. Wild pigs. I mean, there'd be treasure, so... There be looting. Most of the enemies on the overworld seem to have lower run speeds, almost like they realize that these areas you'd be frequently moving through would be overwhelmingly obnoxious if you couldn't just avoid encounters at will. Well, I'm just pointing out their logic was probably that since you weren't moving through the dungeons that often, they figured like they figured the dungeons is where combat's supposed to be happening, so they're just gonna force you to fight a bunch, which is really just obnoxious. Very. We do, but I, uh, it's the second you get to, uh, 
Oh, what's the name of the dungeon right after? Cambria. Cambria Caverns? Okay. But you know what I haven't gotten? I don't see what the distance has to do with the fact that I'm getting this herb. Where is this treasure chest I'm missing? Did I go up here? I don't think so, but I didn't think- I think I went the other- I don't know if I walked around this corner. It's not here, but I don't think I walked over here. And there's an herb. Herbs are nice. The overworld also gets much larger once you get into uh, the Rollins Empire. Like, in terms of just raw territory, it doesn't really make sense how Highland stands a chance against Rollins. In time, Rollins will be the same. A city. Have we reached Rollins already? Yep, this is Lasten Bell. It's renowned the world over as a city where artisans and traders congregate. Yeah, but I don't see treasure. That's the one. You know more about the world than I thought. Hey, what did I say about no voices in my head? Ah, uh, apologies. That branch seems like it should have something, doesn't it? Now we're back to here. Hey, some delicious ice pops. Missing one. Could we... Could it have been, like, nestled away somewhere on our way out of the Tin of Gel Ruins? You think? Back here somewhere? I just figured they're free loot. You know, we took that big roundabout way to grab everything, we're just missing one. And it being one makes it particularly bothersome. I'm sure you know how that is. But I might just move on. I've prepared some gel. I bet I know where it is, though. I don't think we went all the way over here. What do we do? I found this. Stand strong! 
that wasn't the know, middle. That was the right. Watch out for its body slam. It'll bore right through you. Let's take our leave. I would have just said to the right. Let's That would probably be a decent piece of equipment if it didn't break his first row. Yeah. Yep. Those who don't comply shall be punished. You gotta be kidding. I don't have time for this. An inspection? It's the army. What do you think? There's gonna be a real war going on real soon. Hmm. Odds are they'll be detaining you, I bet. Huh? Why me? You back there. Pipe down. Sorry. You've heard the rumors about the shepherd, right? Yeah, in Highland, I think. Right, but the latest word is he's made his way to Roland's. Huh, no kidding. Crazy. Does the Roland's Empire think unfavorably of the Shepherd? You bet they do. The Knights have seen what he can do in battle and are all up in arms. And the Church has branded him a heretic. As if that wasn't enough, there's talk of mysterious happenings going on in town. Next! Oh, looks like I'm up. On that note, watch your back out there. I thought we'd be fine, but now I'm not so sure. I think it's best that you hide who you are, but the idea of making someone like you tell a lie is like... It's like trying to convince your best hen to lay hard for legs. Yeah. Guess we better get ready to make a run for it. We have a pass and everything, just chill. I got this. Just no creepy head voices for the time being. Got it? So long as you don't cause any trouble. Okay. Just keep your mouth shut. Next! If I make the oath, will I get power like Lila's? Don't even think about it. That oath is way more trouble than it's worth. Work on honing the strength you already have instead of relying on that mumbo-jumbo, and you'll develop special skills all your own. You mean you've got your own skills? You bet I do. Yeah? Like what? Show me. <laughs> you sure you're ready? I'm impressed. Didn't think you had it in you to act like a grown-up for once. Uh, you're getting weird. You sure you want to see it? I don't normally show it to just anyone. But for you, I just might make an exception. Never mind. Forget I asked. <laughs> it must get lonely, being Mikleo. Mikli only. Honing the strength I already have. <laughs> I am Sergei Strelka, Captain of the Platinum Knights, Defenders of the Glory of the Roland's Empire. In cooperating to ensure the Empire's peace, you prove your gratitude as much as your loyalty. Is he always like this, or are his boxers just chafing him? Here you go, our Merchant Guild Pass. We've come to Last and Bell on business, specifically the collection of a bill. The Sparrow Feathers are quite impressive. We've got a strict deadline, no time to waste. The place of business is the liquor establishment on the main road. Ah, yes, Boris's Canteen. That place certainly gets an awful lot of business. And we deeply appreciate being a part of it. Is there anything else? No, my gratitude for cooperating with our inspection. 
Thanks for all your hard work. Next, you there. Quite some garb you're wearing. Are you this young woman's guard? Oh, uh, a girl doesn't dare travel alone. Then why does he carry an ornamental sword? He knew that Saray's sword was ornamental? He's seeing right through us. He's less of an idiot than he looks. Wait, there are people watching. <sighs> well, you know, we have our reasons. I'm asking your guard here. Crap. Repeat after me. Please forgive my unquestionably suspicious appearance. The truth is, I am the son of a provincial lord. Lord! Hmm? Rose. That's right. My husband here is nobility. What? You're married? Never had I lifted anything heavier than a fork in my life. Yet by chance did I fall in love with a traveling merchant. In the throes of passion, I threw my money and land away to be with her just over a year ago. You... you did? Even my wife didn't know the full truth. The cruelties of the outside world taught me how feeble I truly am. But even so, I knew a husband has a duty to protect his wife. So I wear an ornamental sword at my side as a hollow pretense of strength. Laugh at the weak will of a sad, broken man. Ah! Sorry. You're doing your best. It's cool. Oh, my dearest. Your sweet words are sucker to my tired limbs. Sow the seeds of love and they will bloom no matter how arid the terrain. Live and be strong. Next. <laughs> I don't know how that worked, but I think we made it. Thanks, guys. More like we just lucked into the perfect audience. A win's a win. Now, it turns out it's handy to have an invisible woman on your side, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sorry I told you to be quiet. So it's all right if we communicate directly inside your... No, it's creepy and obscene. Obscene? I'm not obscene. Come on, let it go, Lila. All right, then. I assume that we're on our way to Pendrago now? Well, uh... But, Miklio, this town looks all kinds of exciting. Well, it does, so... We really ought to poke around at least a little. Did I nail it? Guilty as charged. Sounds fun. I'm game. Bunch of children. That's why we get along so well. And someday we all will. You mean seraphim and humans? But goodness, we usually reserve such sensitive matters for later hours. My apologies, Your Grace. I merely wish to offer my gratitude for the services. It is appreciated. But you must understand, Cardinal Thornton and the other high clergy have very strict requirements for this. I am aware, Your Grace. Be assured that my organization will be most generous in our contributions. It looks like that is the town sanctuary. Shall we? Mioma, those Ralph Roulet have seen you and Luca and Yerlin? Hmm. You okay? Are you not feeling well? Fethmus Mioma, Blues Ralph Roulet, Hefsin Yulin, Luca and Yerlin. Fethmus Mioma, Blues Ralph Roulet, Hefsin Yulin, Luca and Yerlin! Whoa, what are you doing? You tell me. When I formed the pact with Lila, she told me I had to remember those in like three seconds. And now I can't get them out of my head. <laughs> it was an emergency. I couldn't help it. Lila can be pretty forceful sometimes. I wish she were a ghost. She'd be less scary.
Okay, stuff to do. Is this Belfry all machine run? Yep, it's what Lastin Bell is famous for. The gears get moving, the bells get swinging, and it sounds like the most entrancing music. Now that's yep. something I'd like to hear. Wow, you'll only get something like this in the city of artisans. Such craftsmanship. Oh, an art appreciator now, are you? I wonder how the motor works. Don't ask me. I hear the sound of the draw works. They're probably utilizing the power of the aqueduct running underground. Aqueduct? Really? Nothing I can see suggests that. That's because it's a hidden refuge area. This place was built as a fort in the first place. Oh, so that's why this place is surrounded by castle walls. Before it was a fancy belfry, this was a communication tower for sending smoke signals. So much history everywhere. This is too cool. Guys seriously geek out over the weirdest things. <laughs> well, let them have their fun. Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, we didn't tag this save point. <laughs> Will kiss Will. Lots of skits. Hey, Saray, what does my true name mean? Oh, it means Rose is Rose. Rose is Rose? Isn't that kind of lazy? Is it? I mean, I made it on a whim, but I thought it seemed fitting. It was an urgent situation, after all. Hmm. But Princess Alicia used to be a squire, right? What was her true name? Melphis Amekia. It means Alicia the Smiling. Oh, I see. So it's not lazy. You're just being biased. Huh? How? My smile is pretty gorgeous too, you know. Quit it, Rose. You're scaring me. Rose, that's just how Saray is. Yeah, I know. Maybe his name should mean Saray is Saray. <laughs> Yep. Oh, and look at that, it's missing the second row. Should we buy both of them? I'm tempted to buy that and give it to Edna. What's the... What all did we just... There's a couple of things to check, actually. In the boots, it looked like we are gonna go to Miklio. Based off of what the... Yeah, that's 
pretty good. Two two X plate. Would, would probably be useful. She has 2x Earth right now. <laughs> Look at Zeray. <laughs> He's close to having two rows. I need to look at something. Do you want to? Well, I thought that. Was... Ah, there we go. Glacial earrings. That's what it was. what I'm going over here for. Oh my! Don't those potatoes look scrumptious? Oh yeah, flower spells! They're on the smallish side, but they're super sweet and delicious. They look like they go great with butter. That, or you can just bake them and sprinkle with salt. Oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. You know those have got poison in them, right? Poison? Oh, yeah, something like that. Eat enough, and it'll be your last meal. Well, sheesh, you just gotta cook it thoroughly, right? Nope. That actually strengthens the poison. You're even deader now. How about if you cut the eyes off? Does that fix it? Whoops, still dead. Radish bells contain poison in both the eyes and the skin. Now you remove all the skin and slice out the eyes. It's perfectly safe. Hey, Lila, where do you think you're going? I'm afraid this conversation is a bit... <sighs> I think she has some concerns about your food safety standards. You certainly can.
get out of town. What do you mean they're selling elixir? It's true. Word around town is that the nobles in Highland and Rollins can't get enough of the stuff. But how are they getting access to it? I thought the church controlled the entire supply. Well, they say they've got the church's blessing, no pun intended. And apparently the damn stuff actually works. Longer life, fresher breath, everything. Well, don't that beat all? What beats all is the price of that junk. You gotta be one rich chump, let me tell you. <sighs> yeah, I should have guessed as much. Yep. The church is selling elixir now? Something sounds off about that. I mean, that's not going to help him at all. Something like that's pretty good. The purpose of that fight. Just in case. Is there any sort of rhyme or reason to what happens when you fuse equipment? Great question, Rose. You're right. There's nothing random in the fusion of equipment. Can you just tell it to me short and simple before I fall asleep? Sure. First, the rules for fusing two different equipment skills only apply to those located in the same slot. So it actually does matter which slot each skill is positioned at. Yes, what skill is placed in which slot is a very important factor in equipment fusion. So it's important to... <sighs> well, it's... I agree. Are you asleep? <laughs> Yeah. I wonder if that's better than the one we bought. I mean, double plate, double plate is not bad, that by any means. That's on the other. Got a request, Church of Rollins. Roger. This must be the sanctuary. Not a very old building, but still remarkable architecture. Hello? Is there anybody home? If they are, they better have a voice and a body. No one's here. Ghosts? I mean, no guardian, Seraph. No surprise, given that priest we saw earlier. They're all like that. Everywhere you go these days. Well, what should we do? Look for a seraph who can bless it? Huh. I wouldn't know where to start. You know, it isn't necessary to get completely hung up on restoring the blessing. You sure? 
It should be fine. There isn't all that much malevolence around here. And besides, it's not like you can go and save the world all by yourself. Absolutely. The most important thing right now is that you broaden your perceptions and hone your powers. So that we can stand up to the Lord of Calamity, right? You'll have a hell of a time with that if you can't even tell when you're being followed. Who are you talking to? The stained glass? Didn't you have urgent business at the restaurant on the main street? What was the name again? Y yes right Boris's canteen. There's no restaurant by that name. He's alone. Let's take him down and get out of here. <laughs> Can he see us? Nope. He's just that good. <sighs> Have fun with your human friend, Saray. <laughs> huh? Seriously? This is a human problem after all. Come. I should apologize for deceiving you. And then... You're going to tell me who you really are! 